When you think about the first time we met, what do you remember feeling? <laughs> this is way too early in this to be crying. Um, first time we met in person um, was when you came out and I don't know how to quite put that in words. Mm. Um, but if I could try, I would say I was proud. Um, and overjoyed. Mm. It's like a million Christmases mm. in one moment. Um, so yeah. Don't make me cry. No. I'm <laughs> And I, I knew this was gonna happen eventually. That's why I brought my tissues. Um, but yeah, that was our first meeting, and I was really excited. I was scared. Um, I was really scared. But even with like all of the fear um, and a whole bunch of things going through my head, I felt ready. Like, here we are and we're about to do life together. That's it. <laughs> yeah. All right. We are criers over here, so. You okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I should not to you. What do I do that makes you feel I understand you? Che checking up on me every day. Like having conversations with me every day. Just like that. Like you could be on like break or something. And you just come into my room and, and it's like, hey, what's up? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. What's something? things you never would have done if it wasn't for me? Some things I never would have done. A lot. Um, I think before you came, I wasn't really focused on my purpose. Before you, I also wasn't intentional about unpacking some of the things that I had experienced growing up. So if it wasn't for you, I, I don't know if I would have started therapy when I did and um, just started to be really intentional about my healing process. Um, I reconciled my relationship with Pop Pop while you were in my belly. Um, and I don't know if that would have happened, um, had it not been for me being in that moment with you in my belly and knowing that I got to get it together for you. <laughs> <laughs> really? So, yeah. What's, how about this next one? Mm. What does family mean to you? Mm. It means a lot of things to me. It, it means like peace to me. Um, like, I, I can't describe it in no other words. You said peace. Peace? Yeah, because my family. Brings me peace. So that's why. Mm -hmm. But what about you? What does family mean to me? Um, for me, family is uh, a safe space. Um, I'm really like belonging to something. Um, to a whole unit. So, 
And outside of a safe space, I think I'm still discovering that as we move forward and continue to love on each other and learn. Um, every day I feel like I'm like, wow, my family provides me with this or I feel this when I'm with my family. Um, so yeah, I feel like that's also evolving. How are you raising me differently than you were than you were raised? Um, and why? <laughs> what am I doing differently? Um, I think really getting to know you as an individual outside of your title or the role of son. Um, like, I want to know what Chase likes, what Chase enjoys, what movies Chase likes, you know, um, what Chase wants to wear. So being intentional about getting to know you as an individual. Um, and I think also making sure that I put myself as a priority. Um, because I know that that doesn't always happen and when you become a parent, everybody tells you everything is about the child. I was like, of course, you're my world, but I still have dreams. Um, I still have goals. I still have aspirations. And it's important for me to still pursue those um, and still take care of myself. So, you know, I love a self-care day. Um, <laughs> So that's one of the things that I feel like is really, really different. And having fun. Like, I know I'm your mom, but I, I still want to dance with you. I still want to go out, hang out, try different activities with you. Um, I think that there can be a balance, and it's important for us to just have fun together. Gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. What do you think is the hardest thing for me being a single mom? Um, I gotta think about it. Uh, I mean, at this age, I wouldn't really like know right now, but probably like when I'm older, yeah. But right now, I don't think like Nothing's hard for you. <laughs> uh, well, at, okay. at, the, at this age right now. Uh-huh. But yeah, that, that's just me. I mean, that's, it's flattering. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> what do you think was hard for me when you were a baby? Um, well, I heard I was, like, really chill when I was a baby, so. You were. Probably not me. Um... Just like probably like get all the things for me, like they like food or like yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. What is the most powerful lesson I taught you? Who the most powerful lesson? Um You teach me many things. Um, I would say one of the biggest ones is just to be more compassionate. Mm. Like, you're really compassionate. Um, so in a moment where I'm in my feelings, something has annoyed me or frustrated me, like when Starbucks gets my name wrong every time. <laughs> And what did, you, what did you tell me? After, oh, you said, uh, you know, maybe she just made a mistake. And for you to tell me as the adult, like, you always remind me, like, hey, people make mistakes. Um, and it really encourages me to be more compassionate, not only to others, but also to myself. Like, hey, you can make a mistake. It's It's okay. Gotcha. 
You okay? How can I support you even more in becoming the person you want to be? Mm. Just by doing what you already do. Like, gave me love, like, peace. Um, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's okay. But, yeah. So more, more of what, what's already happening. I mean, if you keep doing this, then yeah. <laughs> okay. I listen, I hear you. When you look into my eyes, what do you see? Mm. When I look into your eyes, mm, I see lots of power, lots of ambition. Lots of curiosity. Um, I see the best parts of me, really. Um, without the weight of the world. I, I see that. And I see your lashes that I'm somewhat jealous of. <laughs> um, so yeah. I mean, my lashes are good. No, the lashes and the eyebrows. I think that's it. Hey there, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed that conversation and you want to ask these questions to your own family, check out the And Family Edition card game at theskindeep.com slash shop.